Oh, dude, please. Hey, come on, let me do this, okay? <laughs> hey, it's Sherman. Um, needless to say, I'm still recovering uh, from uh, my little eye procedure, and I've got my uh, my little doggy here, Bruno, to keep me company. Say hello, Bruno. <laughs> and obviously, I've got my reading material, so I'm staying on top of of, of uh, staying on top of my reading. But in any event, uh, I just want to say thank you to you guys uh, for the cards, uh, the letters, the text messages, the flowers, the phone calls, the gifts. Uh, you guys have just been great, and uh, things went well. Obviously, uh, I'm looking forward to getting this thing off my eye. You like that? My kids bought this for me. This is my designer eye patch, like they thought I was going to go out in public and they wanted me to wear this thing, okay? <laughs> but in any event, I uh, want to talk to you just real quick about something exciting coming up uh, both at the end of this month and a chance to win a very special trip to join us up in New York to meet with my mentor in the boardroom. That's right, a New York City trip to meet in the boardroom with my mentor who also happens to be Donald Trump's mentor of over 37 years. So please watch this uh, short video Stay tuned to the very end to talk about this special opportunity, all right? Say bye, Bruno. Bruno says goodbye. Hi, I'm Sherman Ragland, the founder of DC RIA and the co-founder of Nova RIA, the two leading real estate investor associations in the greater Washington, DC region. And I'm also the dean of the Real Investors Academy of Washington, DC. I'm pleased to announce that DC RIA and Nova RIA have both been approved and certified to offer the real investor education to real estate investors and people who want to learn about real estate investing in the greater Washington, DC region. So before I share with you what this means for you as a real estate investor in the greater Washington, DC region, I want to share a little bit about my own background as it relates to this breakthrough in adult real estate investor education. You see, many years ago before I became a full-time real estate investor back in 2001, I was actually on the faculty at the College of Business and Economics at George Mason University. That's true. I used to teach marketing at George Mason University. Several years later, I was fortunate enough when I was living in Maryland to have been appointed by the governor to a five-year term on the Maryland Higher Education Commission. Now, what does that mean for you? It gave me an opportunity to see firsthand how some of the leading colleges and universities, not only in the state of Maryland, but leading institutions in the world, provided adult financial education. Specifically, I had a chance to meet with the leadership of Johns Hopkins University, of University of Maryland, of Loyola College, Towson University, Morgan State University, and of course, the University of Maryland and University of Maryland University College, which many people don't realize is the leading provider of online distance education in the world. I had a chance to meet firsthand with the president, the provost, and the top decision makers at these fine academic institutions and learn the best practices for teaching adults. You see, we as adults learn differently than kids do. And education has to be tailored to meet the specific needs of adults who want to progress and want to get ahead. The Real Investors Academy combines the best practices of these very fine academic institutions along with practical, pragmatic, real-life, real estate investor knowledge. These two things come together at the Real Investors Academy. So we spent the past two years perfecting the way that we deliver adult education in the area of real estate investing and financial literacy, and we now are pleased to announce a huge breakthrough in what we're calling the Real Investors Apprentice Program. We have just graduated 85 students through the Real Investor Apprentice Program. These 85 students have earned the designation Real Investor. And this is your opportunity to also learn how to become a real estate investor by applying the seven principles that we have integrated into this learning experience. Number one, this is not some weekend boot camp. This is a 90-day program that is designed to teach you how to become a real estate investor. It is hands-on learning based on the very first principle, which is you learn the real estate business by doing it. So what we do is take each of our students and we place them into small four and five person groups that work together to solve problems, make offers, working in tandem with our team of instructors, and actually learn the real estate business by doing it. The second key principle that we apply during the 90 days is visualization and goal setting. One of the big reasons why most people fail at real estate investing, they don't have goals. They don't know where, we're, where they're going. They don't really have the end in mind and a game plan to work towards it. We are going to actually help you develop a business plan 
to show you how to make money as a real estate investor in your first 90 days, your first six months, and your first 12 months as a real estate investor during the program. Number three, the key principle of commitment and accountability. That's right, accountability sounds like a big word. The reality is when we place you into these small groups and put team exercises in front of you, you're gonna to have to be held accountable to your fellow team members. I know it sounds scary, but the reality is it works. I cannot tell you how many times over the past 10 years I've had real estate investors or one of the real estate investors come to me and say, I bought this course and I bought this course and I bought this course, but I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not understanding what's going on. And when I begin to ask them the questions about, okay, who is teaching you? Who is working with you? They say to me, well, this person came to town, I bought the materials, I tried to apply it, there's really nobody working with me, or I called this toll-free number and got some guy in Utah who didn't have a clue what I was talking about when I was talking about Southeast Washington, D.C., or Catonsville, or Leesburg. The great thing about the Real Investors Academy is these courses are taught at our two training facilities located in Chantilly, Virginia, and Bowie, Maryland. This is hands-on learning from real, live, real investors, people who are certified as real investors, instructors, who have hands-on experience putting together real estate deals. And they're gonna show you how to put together deals in real time, and they're going to hold you accountable for doing the exercises. I know it sounds scary at first, but the reality is, if you leave out accountability, you're never gonna get anywhere as a real estate investor. Buying more and more courses is not the answer. Having somebody who's going to hold you accountable for doing step-by-step-by-step -by -step -by -step instructions and doing what the instructions say is what's going to make the difference for you as a real estate investor. Number four, applied knowledge. This is critically important in a place like the greater Washington, D.C. area because the state of Maryland has some of the most rigorous anti-investor laws in the country. In fact, there are certain things that these national gurus teach you to do that will land you in jail for three years or a $10,000 fine. You see, in 2005 and then again in 2008, the state of Maryland passed a law called PIFA. It's very important that you understand what this law means to you as a potential real estate investor or future real estate investor and that you do not break this law in any fashion. We teach you how to work within the law because you can make so much more money as a real estate investor and have so much more fun if you do it the right way as opposed to spending all your time trying to figure out how to do it the wrong way. But applied knowledge, understanding what you can and cannot do, understanding what the rules of the game are, not just as a real estate investor anywhere in the country, but specifically as a real estate investor in the greater Washington, D.C. region. Number five, the power of a mentor. Having somebody who's been where you want to go, who can actually tell you what's the fastest path to take to get to success. Oh gosh, I wish I had had a mentor when I was first getting started as a real estate investor. Having somebody who's actually done a commercial real estate deal, somebody who actually owns neighborhood shopping centers, somebody who actually owns a portfolio of apartment buildings, somebody who's actually flipped land contracts the right way, somebody who's actually wholesaled houses and makes six figures a year working part-time wholesaling properties, and somebody who's actually rehabbed the house. In other words, people who really understand what they're doing and people who know how to teach. These are the people you will find as academy faculty at the Real Investors Academy. People who know because they've done it themselves and they stand ready to mentor you during this 90-day apprentice program. I'm one of those people. Elisa San Pedro is one of those people. And we have several other qualified, certified faculty who stand ready to help you. Number six, focus. Focus, focus, focus. I can tell you the number one reason why people who have a sincere desire to succeed as real estate investors fail is because they're distracted. They've got this course and that course. They went to this event. They went to that event. They have so many courses. One of the very first things that we tell you is to put aside all of those courses. Don't throw them away. Put them away and follow our step-by-step -step curriculum that's based on my award-winning 21 Days to Real Estate Riches. That's right, it's a 21-day step-by-step process that we use for the first 21 days of the program. 
Then, during the middle of the program, we're going to teach you how to build a business. Real estate investing as a business, not as some kind of a hobby. And then the last part of the program, we're going to teach you how to do creative deal making and creative financing to put together really killer deals. But what's important is it's a step-by-step -step process that we're going to show you and that we're going to teach you so that you can remain focused on the key objective, which is for most people, getting your very first real estate deal done. Now, if you've already gotten a couple of deals done, but you're not really sure whether or not you've really built a business, you're going to find that the second half of the 90 Day Apprentice program is just for you because it's all about running real estate as a business, albeit a part-time business, but a part-time business that can offer you full-time income. And of course, number seven. The seventh principle is, of course, knowing your own core beliefs. Again, one of the big challenges I see for many investors who come to me as the leader of the Greater Washington, D.C. Real Estate Investors Association, or D.C. RIA, is they're not really sure where they fit in as a real estate investor. And I can understand that. It, and truthfully, if you're in that position, it's not your fault. There's a lot of information out there. Many of it is conflicting, if not confusing. And part of understanding where you fit as a real estate investor is to take this 90 days during the apprentice program and also learn the 13 fundamental ways to make money in real estate and decide which of those two or three fundamental ways makes the most amount of sense for you. I see a lot of people who are really interested in rehabbing. Rehabbing is a great way to make money as a real estate investor, but it's not for everybody. I can assure you, I discovered a long time ago that rehabbing was not a particular real estate skill that I was very good at. It takes a very strong stomach and a very firm hand over a contractor to be successful in rehabbing. But I did find that I was very successful in commercial real estate, which of course is why I do land development and small office buildings and small apartment buildings and putting together the teams to make it happen. So there's different niches. In fact, there's 13 separate niches in the real estate investing game. You need to find out which of those 13 and it may be two or three different strategies that's best for you. The great thing is during the 90-day apprentice program, you're going to learn about all 13 of those fundamental strategies and be in a position at the end of 90 days to say firmly, without a doubt, that this one or two or three areas are the ones you're most interested in and think that you'll be most successful in because they fit with your personality, your skills, the kind of things that you want to do, and part of your core beliefs. We're here in Trump Tower in the office of Mr. George Ross. Give it up for George. Yeah. <laughs> and George, of course, is not only the author of two best-selling books, Trump Strategies and Trump Style Negotiation, he's longtime advisor uh, and, men and mentor and, and confidant to none other than Donald Trump. But even before he was an advisor to Donald Trump on his very first deal, he had his own successful law practice specializing in working with real estate investors, some of the top names in Manhattan and George is going to be spending time with us when we come up to New York talking about how to further enhance your business talking about strategies talking about negotiation and pretty much anything else George wants to talk about because a lot of folks don't understand and don't know George has been a very successful business person in his own right and George you want to just sort of take a couple minutes and just share some of the things you're going to be talking about when we come up well, together? Yeah, some of the things I'll be talking about is how, to imp how people can improve what they're doing mm -hmm. If they're in a business relationship, they want to change a business relationship. If they got an idea, how do you bring it from the idea stage to fruition? If you're involved in real estate, what areas of real estate you should be in? What are the, the, the pitfalls and, and how can you look at the real estate market? And anything that would take them from the level they're at to a much higher level. So give them the advice, also handle any questions that they may have as to uh, how they're going to, how you would solve a particular problem. So it's, it's, it's open discussion, sure, well, I give them negotiating tips, of course, because you're negotiating your entire life right. uh, in anything that you do with your wife, with your car dealer, with all, it's all negotiation, any business relationship has negotiation. In. So we'll do that, show them how to negotiate better, how to understand the, the pitfalls of negotiation, how to understand human nature, as well as uh, uh, how to analyze markets. So people say, oh, I'm planning on analyzing the market. I want to invest in California. Well, where are you at this point? You know, how do you want to be there? Right. Do you want one family houses? Do you want multiple houses? Do you want commercial? Do you want strip centers? What is your 
interest that how do you get into that how to raise money it's how huge. to deal with banks right how to deal with investors uh, to cover the whatever the, sh the shortcoming is how to deal with experts how to get experts understanding the need for experts mm -hmm. so it, it gives, it's a well-rounded education which would fit into whatever it is that you're doing this would be something that would be very beneficial and I guarantee you when they come out of it they'll be better than when they went in absolutely yeah and well, so at, at the end of the day it really is about how to take your game your game to the next level whatever that means to you whether it's you know going from very few real estate deals to getting your first couple of deals whether it's, whether it's the fact that you've done multiple deals and now you want to basically put that thing on autopilot or whether you want to go ahead and crack into commercial real estate and do big-time deals the bottom line folks is that there's nobody out there in the country today who served as a mentor and a friend to as many successful real estate investors and of course we all know that George's longtime friend longtime mentor for Donald Trump but there's been a whole lot of other folks in the world of Manhattan real estate. Always one time or another represented almost all the big names in real estate. He's probably done more large transactions in the city of New York than any other lawyer. As, and also an advisor. In other words, to say, well, is it a good deal or a good deal? How could I recast this? Uh, should I make it or not make it? And very often that's important to know, yeah, to know fact, what to walk. In fact, you really sort of cultivated a relationship in Manhattan as being the go-to guy as far as attorneys were, real estate attorneys were concerned, because of the fact that you are more than just an attorney or a deal maker. That's true. And I've had, strangely enough, I've had law firms, major mm -hmm. law firms, that have recommended clients to me because the client had a particular problem, and the head of the law firm said, if I had that problem, I would go speak to George. Mm -hmm. Which is right, because I'm not, they're, they're a lawyer. <laughs> right. So looking at it, I say, well, we don't want him to, don't go to him because he's got a legal problem, say, hey, I got this particular problem, how do I get out, or how do I solve it? Right. And, it, and, it, and in fact, isn't that sort of how you started your relationship with Donald Trump almost 40 years ago? His father, Fred, told him to stay out of Manhattan. And Donald said, I'm going to Manhattan. He says, well, I'd say, I, if I were you, I'd stay out of Manhattan. But if you're going to Manhattan, you better go see George Ross. That's great. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And there's, Donald was 27 years old at the time. 27 years 27 old. 27 years old. And his first venture into real estate was doing the Hyatt Hotel. Mm -hmm. And I was his, his lawyer. I'd never met him before. Uh, he was enthusiastic, totally green, mm -hmm. but he had a tremendous personality and he pursued perseverance, and uh, he, he convinced me. Right. So he's so Donald is really, but one of many folks, who you have mentored over the years, and obviously uh, he's a, he's a smart guy in his own right, no question about that. But you know, where would he be today without that first deal? Where would he be without George Ross? Oh, that's it. That's a good question. I don't know the answer to the question. Yeah. We'll never know the answer. Would, no, no, no. He would be somewhere. Right. Uh, would he be where he is today? I doubt it. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I was was I certainly helped him, mentored mm -hmm. him, uh, was a friend. Continued off the was available to him in the bad times when mm -hmm. he was in real trouble, mm -hmm. even though I wasn't his lawyer at the time, and, mm -hmm. I, and then later on came back, and so over the last 15 years, yeah, I've been doing nothing but deals for him, and he knows that I will give him a, a, an a analysis the way it should be. Right. So I'm not going to tell him, yes, Donald, do it, or yes, Donald, don't do it, because this is what he, he, he wants to do. Right. I'll say, here are the pluses and minuses, but ultimately the decision is yours. And your relationship really goes beyond uh Real estate. The, weren't you involved in uh, his negotiations for some of his other business ventures? Oh sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh sure. I do his licensing. Mm -hmm. uh, he licensed throughout the world. Mm -hmm. uh, I do that. I do all of his uh, the things involved with his promotions with his with, a, with the Apprentice for with a, with a television and other things he does. Yeah, it's just uh, anything. If you got a particular situation or a problem or something, he says he'll call me and George. What do you think of this? So, and we started out basically. He's done, he's done a lot of golf courses of recent thing. Yeah, you just and bought one down said, in Virginia, yeah. as a matter of fact. And he Lowe's says, Lowe's "What do you Island. think?" I said, "I think it's great. You're land banking." Mm -hmm. I said, "You're buying you're buying land that's relatively cheap. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is figure out how to keep it as cheap as you can until such time as it's it's ready for development, or people will again join country clubs. Right. And then the economy gets a little better, but you're buying a lot of acreage, very cheap, and as long as you know how to run. So he said, "Yeah, we'll buy." So buying a lot of golf courses, which is cheap land, and making it something different so people want to join the Trump National Club, knows how to build golf courses. And that's, that's, that's part of it, knowing when to, when to get into something and when to stay out of it. Right. And 
know when is when is a good when is it a good buy. Mm -hmm. And you want to be very successful in real estate, you have to take certain chances. But you don't want to take the chances at this point. You got a problem. Right. And if you jump too soon or jump too late, you got another problem. And, and pivotal pivotal to that is having a good team around you. And pivotal to having a good team around you is having a good mentor. And just like you have been a friend and mentor to me and a friend and mentor a long time now, going yeah. 40 years to Donald Trump, you have been a friend and a mentor and an advisor to some of the top names in commercial real estate, uh, real estate in Manhattan, which is probably the toughest real estate market. There's in no the world. question it's the toughest real estate market. <laughs> yeah. No question at this point. It's uh, in Manhattan. It's uh, it's light years ahead of the rest of the United States and the rest of the world. Yeah. We've got different philosophy here. Everything is, is compressed. But you're dealing in probably more dollars mm -hmm. are involved, and you're dealing with a more sophisticated community, and, that's it. and the decisions are probably more difficult. But it's the same. Exactly. Business is business. Business is business. And know? even, even having said that. What's the difference? I said, hey, you know, the difference is what you're dealing with, just add three zeros, and that's where I'm dealing with. Right. So, uh, and that's what I'm used to. But the philosophy is the same. There's a, develop, there's a seller, there's a buyer, mm -hmm. and they each have their own interests, and it's basically the same, except you're talking more dollars. Right. Right. But what? human nature is what it is, and knowing when to hold them, when to fold them is important, and also not to overestimate your own abilities, and not to underate, underestimate your desires either. So draw the balance and say, okay, I can do this. And I said, don't bet the ranch. Mm -hmm. If you're successful in this area, don't say, I'm going to take everything and put it here. I said, that's, that's the way to lose. And you, you started your real estate practice, your law firm, what, back in the 60s, 50s? I started back in the, I didn't start it in the 50s, but I joined it in the 50s. In the 50s. So, yeah. so we're talking about yeah. well over 60 years you've been at this. Well, you're talking 60 years, but you're also talking at the time. Mm -hmm. When I joined the law firm, which was in the 1950s, mm -hmm. they had six lawyers. When I left it, we had 180. Wow. And it was the premier, the premier law firm in, yeah. course, in real estate in Manhattan. Correct. So, guys. Dude, nothing but real estate. Nothing but real estate. Nothing but real estate. So, guys, w what we're talking about here, this is a once, truly once in a lifetime opportunity to be mentored by the gentleman who mentors giants. And for those of you who take action, there's only a limited number of seats. Those of you who take action, get in on it, reserve your seat now. You're going to love the fact that you've had a chance to come to New York, sit in the boardroom with none other than Donald Trump's mentor, Mr. George Ross. But again, the gentleman who has mentored literally hundreds. Is, 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 am I exaggerating? Is it hundreds? Well, of hundreds. No, we, I, I think probably there at this point. That, uh, yeah, oh, hundreds over the period of time. But I would say that at a when it got to be a major law firm, we were down to maybe 30 or 40 giants, giants. in the industry. The true, the true giants. The true giants in the industry. In the industry. But, true, correct. You found out now it's just as easy to do a big deal as a small deal. But the fees, much the fees much better. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's, and that's also part of the lesson that's that you're going to learn, you know, that's is right. learning how to multiply and use your time wisely. So again, take action. And if you take action and you are accepted into this program, you're going to be one of the fortunate few that it gives a chance to spend a morning and spend a day with Mr. George Ross learning some of the inside secrets that he's been sharing for over 60 years on how to be successful in real estate and how to win at this very sometimes competitive, uh, oftentimes competitive, but very, but very, very often competitive, but, but very rewarding game. Yeah. yeah, yeah. George, thank you so I'm much. You're welcome. Good. I'm looking forward to it. I think I they'll, they'll, they'll learn a lot and they have an opportunity to ask questions and solve problems and it's a, bring it in. This is not at the beginner level. Right. This exactly. is coming in at the advanced level. So exactly. So you're not taking it at something you can read. This is not something you can read and do it at this point. This is one on one. Yeah. This is this is a this is a private closed door opportunity for people who are serious about this business, want to take their business to the next level, to have a chance to really sit and learn at 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 the, at the knee of of the master negotiator, uh, the master advisor, the master mentor for many of the most successful names in real estate. I hope you decide to take advantage of this. I hope you decide to take action, but you better take action fast. Yeah, and it's it, it, the, one of the keys is it's it, it works for business of any kind. Yes. Any type of entrepreneur. It doesn't have to be real estate. Good point. It can be anyone that it is at this point. Anyone that's got any desire to be an entrepreneur of sorts or start up a new business or vary a business or, or, or come out with something that nobody else has done or a variation of it, it works. It's all the same. Business is business. It doesn't have to be real estate. 
Uh, I've been in other businesses. And, successfully in other and businesses. successfully in other businesses. Albeit, I would stay in real estate because that's the, the area of my greatest expertise. But I found that the decision making is the same mm -hmm. in, a, in, in all kinds of businesses. I don't care what it is. And that anyone who wants to improve their skills and be more successful in what they're doing or what they would like to do, they'll find that I think they'll find this very helpful. Very good. So there it is, folks. If you want to take your business to the next level, you better take action and join us in New York. But don't wait because there's only a handful of seats. So if you're going to do this, make a decision. Make a decision now. Take action now. One other thing that you're going to go ahead and take this. I only do this because I'm very fond of Sherman and he's a personal friend. This is not going to happen again. This is not going to be open on a, on a repetitive basis. It's just here. This is one time, one time only in New York. Thank you, George. Okay. Uh, my name is Rob Bailey and I'm from Cabinet Heights, Maryland. He had uh, looked for some properties there and exactly what Sherman said, like um, pick the zip code and also um, you know, picked out a uh, desirable neighborhood. So I had gone and um, called. Once I like found the house in the neighborhood and area, um, that was good. So then I had called around for a couple of hard money lenders. A lot of the lenders were saying they was kind of tight then. So I asked the lender, like what were their requirements and I would find a house to fit their requirements. So obviously um, I had gotten uh, introduced to a hard money lender. So I had already done the um, contract work and everything and the um, evaluations and everything. So I made sure that my financing was together and then I submitted the offer along with the proper documentation, paperwork, LLC, everything. And then we got the contract uh, ratified. So then the hard money lender went to the title company. He wired the money to the uh, title company, gave me a draw, started the work, the rehab work. So. That's that phase of it. Then uh, we're going to do the rehab work. So, um, you know, I had the contractors on board and um, had like a project manager on board to make sure that all of the um, repairs were done. So uh, we went through, uh, did the contract work also. So then we put the house on the market. So once the house was done on the market, on the market, it was on the market for, I guess, no more than about 20 days and got two contract offers, one for 256, but they wanted us to do some extra uh, work. So then we got another one for 240. So the appraisal came through, the inspection came through, the check came through. So that's, you know, that was the deal. So only 20 days on the market and then we got a contract and um, sold the house and that's the finished product. That's it. Uh, uh, made like about $98,046.22, I believe, but not to be you know, precise, but yeah, made $98,000, so I'm happy about that. Besides like uh, giving me the confidence, giving me like, the reading material, um, the instruction, the instruction was like key as well as the, uh, you have to get like your mind on a proper, in a proper positive state. And you have to have confidence because you're going to have like a lot of naysayers. And Sherman had explained that. So, I mean, I just can't thank Sherman enough for like even providing this service. I mean, it's like so valuable. So, in that sense, like the 20 day class was the reason why I'm here. I mean, because other than that, and I guess the determination and the, um, you know, to keep your mind positive and be assured that you're going to make it through. So, Christ Jesus and the whole gamut, everything. So, um, I learned more about relationships with people, which Sherman had also, like, discussed with us. And also, the, uh, you know, getting your mind properly, like, in a proper space so that you can um, take on a journey. Cause it's definitely a journey, so thanks a lot. And that 21-day class is like the best. Trust me, it's like the best. So the DC Red is like really, really like the best. They have like good support system. They have really, really good um, speakers. And Sherman is like a great, great, great leader. And um, also they have like a lot of good people with good character at the um, DC Red. And also they also have 
a lot of um, um, good uh, uh, real estate industry speakers that come in. Really, really good ones. So to me, it's, it, Sherman had already like known about these um, um, speakers that come in. So if he like signed off on them, I'm pretty sure that they're like really, really knowledgeable, knowledgeable and have a good way of like expressing themselves um, to help like um, newbie investors. So DCV is like the best and they have like a lot of different events. So, um, you know, it's really, 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 really good investment club. I say if you had the means and you really want to change like your lifestyle and you really want to like have like other doors like open to you like, wow, it's like, I say definitely, definitely like take the leap forward get with Sherman because you want to get with a good mentor and a good teacher that has like a lot of resources and a lot of experiences that's like key and you got to have it like you got to be strong and you have to like have the will to actually jump out there on faith and do it because I didn't even really have it was either this or nothing so you got to like and you be amazed to see how far that you can go on your faith and open doors will open up for you so that's what I suggest. My name is Linda Yancey. I made $5,000 off of this deal. I'm a real investor and I get real checks. Well, we started off with uh, the two realtors on our team, just putting out numerous offers together. They got together and just put out offer after offer and we got a few counters and this was one that we decided was, uh, we took a look at the counter offers and this is one that we decided to stick with and, and we move forward with it. We, we made $5,000 profit on this deal. Okay. So it's, it's exciting. It's my first deal and ready to do more. This was the year I decided this is the real year. I'm going to make it happen. I took classes all last year. This apprentice program really gave me the, the courage to move forward. But the apprentice program has been fantastic because you've got the security blanket of, of other people and you're moving together with a team instead of it as an individual. And all four of us pulled the knowledge together and, and make sure we stick to the 21-day program that Sherman teaches. And, and it's a very good program. But when you're on your own, you have a tendency to not stick strictly to the, the script that he provides. And when you have four people, there's always someone that speaks up and says, no, 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 that's not the way it is on the 21-day program. Let's get back on track. And, and that's really saved us. It saved us a lot. Uh, my name is Rakita Peebles, and I made over $23,000 on this deal. And I'm a real investor, and at Real Investors, we get real checks. Well, as you know, I hang my license with Real Investors of Maryland. So I actively farm the MLS for deals. And I actually found this house um, in the multiple listing service. Um, it was listed for about $120. Uh, got it under contract for eighty-eight thousand, and we sold it for one ten. So, received a nice payday plus um, a commission check. I don't really do it for the commission check, but it's always good to get. <laughs> um, I actually got my license about a year ago. Next month actually will be a year that I've been a full-time investor agent. And I decided to become an investor agent because I just really wanted to have control over my time. You know, this is the largest investor-friendly firm. If, you know, if you want to learn about real estate investing, this is a place to be. You know, I um, started going to DC RIA and about two years ago. And then when Sherman opened up the firm for other agents to hang their license, it was just... I, I jumped at the opportunity because um, I really wanted to be able to affiliate myself with and learn from others that are experienced and are actually doing deals. I just have a really des big desire <laughs> to want to learn from the best and I feel like what Sherman Raglan um, is offering and you know even working with Aruna is you know, is the best thing out there, hands down. Um, it doesn't really compare to what you would get somewhere else. And, you know, for me, it was it was a no-brainer. <laughs> the split is really nice, um, but 
beyond that, you know, the type of training that you get is pretty extraordinary. Um, I was because I'm affiliated with the firm, um, got to go to the commercial summit and interact with people like um, Jeffrey Taylor and Roger Dawson and some other other big names in real estate and. Um, with other firms, I can't say that that's necessarily something that you would get. Um, and even, not even considering that, you know, Sherman is just very talented in his own right. And I'm thankful just to be in a position to receive from him. So, what you can make in this, you know, in this lifestyle is it's pretty extraordinary. Um, you know, that's the second check that we received that was over 20000 and. Um, I'm really excited about that. Um, you know, that's just um, a part of what you can do if you affiliate yourself with the right firm and um, all of those things. And it's very important to surround yourself with really good people who are experienced and knowledgeable and passionate about what it is that you're doing because that helps as well. You can feed off your, each other's energy.